So look at this young lady, Crystal, class of 2021, six distinctions. She has done so well and there's so many children in high school working so hard, so many amazing teachers working so hard and getting great results. But one thing I think that um, a lot of high school children do not know is the many, many thousands of career options there are and they don't get exposed to that much. Obviously, at the end of matric, one of the biggest problems is that most of them don't know what to study or what they want to do. So I started this little video series called One New Career Day, so that if you watch or learn about One New Career Day, by the end of the year, you have you know approximately 365 new careers. Another thing is unemployment. If we're going to turn around this country, we need to create jobs. We need to grow businesses to create more jobs throughout Africa as well. It is entrepreneurs and people that grow businesses that turn around unemployment and change this country. I think our first day in business, we sold like 300 scoops, which was a ton of ice cream for us. Today, on a really busy day in the summer, we will serve over 40,000 guests in our scoop shops across the country. And that number is growing. In 2008, Ben Van Leeuwen saw an opening in the ice cream market for a product made with only high quality butter fat, egg yolk, and cream. Mixed with chocolate from farms in Ecuador, barrel aged vanilla, and pistachios flown in from Sicily. Fast forward a year, and Ben, his brother Pete, and close friend Laura O'Neill were selling this artisanal ice cream on the streets of New York City out of a repurposed post office truck. Today, Van Leeuwen has grown from a single ice cream truck to a national brand with 50 scoop shops from coast to coast. Over 10,000 stores carry the brand's pints, and throughout its history, it's offered close to 500 flavors, ranging from honeycomb and wild blueberry shortcake to more unique combinations, like Kraft Mac and Cheese and Hidden Valley Ranch. There are three numbers to look out for in this story. 60,000, the amount it took to get Van Leeuwen off the ground. 18.7 million, the amount secured in the 2020 funding round. And 300,000, the amount of money Van Leeuwen pulls in on a good day across all of its scoop shops. Let's just pause here. 300,000 US dollars a day is about 5.47 million Rand per day. And if you had a look at, look at that over each month, that's approximately times by 30. So that is approximately 170 million Rand a month they make incredible you can develop and build up a business like this as well remember they started out of a food truck start small and grow your business here's how van lewin turned a lone ice cream truck into a multi-million dollar ice cream empire hey i'm ben van lewin the co-founder and ceo of van lewin ice cream and i'm here at our shop in williamsburg brooklyn ben van lewin grew up in greenwich connecticut even from a young age, he had an interest in business. Ben was just a college freshman when he first entered the world of ice cream. I saw an advertisement in the newspaper. It's a drive an ice cream truck, earn $500 a week. I needed a summer job. I responded to that ad and I ended up driving a Good Humor ice cream truck. Ben drove that Good Humor truck for two summers, saving money. Fast forward to when I was graduating college. I had done okay in college, but not great. I hadn't done internships, I had just driven an ice cream truck, and I hadn't thought I want to work in food. But that all changed when he came across a Mr. Softy truck while walking down the street in New York. Suddenly, the idea to start an ice cream company hit him. There was no hesitation, there was no, maybe I'll do this, maybe this was a good idea. And part of that is because I knew it worked. I had sold ice cream off of trucks. This wasn't reinventing the wheel, this wasn't rocket science. So remember guys, the first step is always the hardest step. If you take that first step and just go, things become a lot easier and obviously you learn and things become even more easier and more smooth. So go for it. Use your spare time, think of business opportunities and start prototyping in the small. Ben wanted to sell artisanal ice cream with simple, high quality ingredients. And in 2008, Van Leeuwen Ice Cream was born. Creating a business plan took a year. Ben's inspiration for his ice cream recipe came from Thomas Keller's cookbook, Bouchon. It was a creme anglaise vanilla ice cream, and what was unique about it is it had a lot of eggs, it had a lot of cream, um, of course whole vanilla beans. This base carried over into Van Leeuwen's recipe. The Greenpoint apartment that Ben, Laura, and Pete shared became the tasting lab where Van Leeuwen's first flavors were developed. 
I think there were 35 versions of chocolate that I really liked. Single origin from here, single farm from here, blends from here, more coverture, more cocoa powder, less fat, more fat, a little less sugar. After the flavors were finalized, it was time to get down to business. We determined that we would need $250,000 to start Van Leeuwen ice cream. That was enough to buy a step van for about $60,000, to spend another $60,000 turning it into an ice cream truck. That number would leave them with enough money to build inventory and find a factory. But from the outset, there was serious trouble realizing Ben's vision. It was really hard for us to get the money. Um, we had no business experience. I thought it was a great idea. I thought I was a good pitch guy. I guess I wasn't that good. We didn't raise $250,000. We didn't even raise close to that. We were able to scrap together $60,000. But the trio were determined to make the $60,000 work. So don't take failures negatively. Look at these two guys. The one guy is weighed down by the failures. The other guy sees failures as like steps in a ladder that gets him higher. Don't be negative about failures. You need the lessons to grow. Failures are part of teaching you what works and what doesn't work and be positive about them. So how do you start an ice cream company with $60,000? That's not even enough to buy an ice cream making machine or the two machines you need to make ice cream. For the first two years we outsourced all of our production. So step one of starting an ice cream company was finding what we call a co-packer, a co-manufacturer, a factory to make our ice cream. So we found a small factory in upstate New York. We went up there for every production run, hand grinding heirloom nutmeg, Ceylon cinnamon into big brewing bags. Step two for us was buying the truck on eBay, retrofitting that into an ice cream truck. And then marketing in those days was 100% bringing our truck, parking it on the street, and selling ice cream. So the corner of Green and Prince in Soho, we pull up this old ice cream truck. By the time we've opened the window, there's 15 people in line. So at that moment we knew, okay, we're on to something here. Van Leeuwen launched with 10 flavors, including classics like chocolate and vanilla, as well as more unique flavors like janduya and ginger. At the time, each scoop cost $3.95. On the first day of business, Laura, Ben, and Pete sold over 300 scoops of ice cream and brought in about $2,000. That same day, they were approached by a representative from Whole Foods. And they said, do you do wholesale? We said, we'll do anything that brings in revenue. So yes, we do wholesale. And three months later, we were on the shelves in Whole Foods. By the end of that first summer, they were operating three trucks in New York City. We needed the revenue. We had to work hard. Their hard work paid off. By 2010, Van Leeuwen hit $1 million in revenue. Two years into the business, we had the opportunity to open a brick and mortar shop. That was not part of the business plan. The Brooklyn shop had things that the truck didn't like electricity and running water. It also generated more revenue than the truck. Literally within three hours of opening that shop, we said we are never building another ice cream truck. The scoop shop kept the same aesthetic and design as the trucks, and together with the pints at Whole Foods, helped put Van Leeuwen on the map. In 2011, they opened their own manufacturing plant in Brooklyn, and in 2014, hired a part-time bookkeeper and office assistant. By 2017, Van Leeuwen had grown to 10 scoop shops. Show jumping has been totally dominated by men throughout all of history. Watch this video clip of a woman for the first time ever winning the world championship. This is just giving inspiration and energy to women across the world where they really can become the best in almost any industry they want to. We're down to the last competitor of the 2018 FEI jumping at the World Equestrian Games. At the biggest moment of this 29-year-old's career. Now, she knows that the time is tight, but she also knows that she has got some time, faults, time penalties to play with because she's on 2.47. Martin Fuchs in silver medal position, or in gold medal position at the moment, 6.68. This horse is just got springs in its legs. You could hear a pin drop in here. 
this man has just been magnificent, magnificent. The only combination of athletes to be completely clear through these games in the FEI jumping. Two to go. One to go. She's done it! She's done it for Germany! Simone Blum takes gold here in Troyon. The 2018 individual gold medals. Look at this, 1% uh, luck, 1% talent, 98% never give up is a 100% success formula. Watch this girl who's a stunt girl, um, and obviously you can do this for movies and adverts. Uh, you can become almost anything you want to be for a career one day. Three, two, one. I love to fly so much. It's so natural to me. My name is Roberta Mancino, I'm Italian and I'm a skydiver and a stunt woman. I have been working a lot for commercials and stunt jobs for Marvel. There is lots of stunt works that we do in this drop zone for Hollywood movies. Stunt jobs for just any other training that you can do. So now she goes into a wind tunnel to train for her uh, trick she does as a stunt woman. Here we can adjust the speed, so we can fly lower speed, higher speed. I describe my style of flying, very artistic and uh, elegant. Van Leeuwen has released nearly 500 distinct flavors over the past 15 years, some of which you might be surprised to see in ice cream form, like mac and cheese or ranch dressing. But these unusual flavors aren't just for shock value. They serve a crucial business purpose as well. So the Kraft Mac and Cheese is actually really, really good. Caramelized onion jam and ice cream is awesome. From a more tactical marketing approach, they allow us to very efficiently build brand awareness. So we do not advertise. We believe that we can best serve our customers putting money into our products and into developing our teams. So doing a flavor like Hidden Valley Ranch and Kraft Mac and Cheese exposes a lot of people to the brand. We will serve over 40,000 guests in our scoop shops across the country, and that number is growing. In our wholesale channel, people will buy as many as 50,000 pints every day. Ben, Laura, and Pete still play a vital role in the company's day-to-day -day operations. Here in their Greenpoint office, the team samples new flavors, reviews new store designs. In 2024, they'll open 25 to 30 new scoop shops. I think as, as long as we are happy, as long as we're able to run a company where our team is happy and that provides people jobs that are good, and as long as we're of course able to keep our guests happy, we will continue to grow Van Leeuwen.